Hello, welcome back to DIY Life. Today we're going to have a look inside the generator room. We have three 250 kVA 415 volt three phase alternators. This panel allows you to synchronize two alternators in parallel onto the main switchboard to gain 500 kVA for running big load machinery like the bow thruster unit or the water cannon. If you like this content and you haven't already, please like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell icon. It really helps the channel. The prime movers, the engines that are spinning the alternators, are V6 turbo diesel Paxman engines. They are pneumatically started, so that's with compressed air, and you'll see that coming up. They rotate at 1000 RPM to produce 50 hertz of electrical power. Also in the generator room, panning from left to right, you will see an oily water separator, a lube oil purifier, and then a fuel oil purifier. Now let's start one of the generators. We've got the main air valve on and we're gonna hit the button for the starter. What could go wrong? So if you hadn't worked it out, you did have a little problem here. Uh, because the ship hasn't been running or the generators haven't been running for five years uh, sticky things the press button the last valve that delivers the start air pressure to the starter motor that push button actually got stuck down so it was Ashley's quick thinking to shut off that main air valve supply valve which uh, stopped the starter from running on with the engine engaged into the flywheel. So really good uh, quick thinking there from Ashley and then we're just having a chat about it. I've got a suck in there. That looks like soil. It's because that got stuck. Yeah. Ah oh, so take two for number two generator we'll just have another try. Okay, that's a great start up right there. Just checking the oil pressure straight away. And then also just having a look in the valley just to see if there's any leaking injectors because that's right next to the exhaust headers and I have a story about that in campaign. I'll tell you a bit later. Because that starter motor ran on earlier, the air start oil did produce some smoke and just showing that with the torch just to show that sometimes you do have some fumes and smoke in the engine room it is uncommon and you try and avoid it but it's just a reality sometimes Uh, now here we're going for a start off of number three generator. So Ashley wants to see the incoming voltage to try and put it on the board, on the switchboard. So we're just going to have a look at that and see if we can get some voltage. So what Ashley is showing me is selecting the incoming alternator on the switch he's touching would show on the voltmeter 
415 volts but number two generator number three generator do not produce any voltage the residual magnetism is usually there to induce a small amount of voltage into the stator windings or field coils but due to inactivity you can lose this residual magnetism this is what's happened for number two and number three alternator here now we're going to start up generator number one we're going to have a look at its incoming voltage on the switchboard its residual magnetism hasn't been lost so it's operating as it should while Bill starts up number three generator, I do have an update. Roscoe, who has sailed on many of these ships before, came on board with his electrical guru mate Bill uh, to have a look at the alternators and he was able to restore residual current in both number two and number three, although the AVRs were faulty in the switchboard, the automatic voltage regulators. So Bill is going to design and build three new AVRs for the switchboard. Uh, we really appreciate this help from both of those guys and look forward to giving you an update when they're all running properly. So I'm just adjusting the speed of the prime mover which affects the uh, frequency and that is that gauge to the far right, the 50 hertz, and then far left you can see around about 415 maybe 420 volts uh, that's the incoming alternator number one you select the incoming alternator before you uh, put it onto the board so you know you've got the correct voltage and hertz i potentially will do a video showing how to synchronize the alternators in the future please let me know in the comments if you'd like that Thanks for joining. I know this video was short, but there is one more coming up. And then after that video, by that time, I will be back on board the ship to prepare for the sea trials. So please tune in and thanks for joining me. I'll see you in the next one. Bye now.